Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this annoying little sidebar here in Microsoft Edge. I've actually had a couple of people reach out to me and ask me how this can be moved. And from everything that I see from within Edge, it can't. And if I'm wrong, call me out in the comments. I, I would love to know. But um, so I found a way and I'm going to show you how to get rid of it today. Um, you know, this used to be a Bing button and now it is Copilot with Bing, um, which is fine if you use that. And this really wouldn't be so bad if there was a way to at least minimize it or if it was out of the way. Uh, for me, I don't really use any of this stuff. I use Outlook and that's about the only one. So I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this. It's actually super easy, guys, with a simple registry edit. So bring up your registry editor. editor. It is, if you just go down to your start button and type reg edit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, or most of you have that nice little search bar down here. I don't have that, I shut it off. Um, and same thing, type R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Um, and I'll put the instructions down in the description as well for you. Um, so once you have your registry editor open, you're going to navigate to the following location and no worries, I will put this in the description too. All right, so you're gonna start with H key, local machine, and you're gonna go down to software, and then all the way down here to policies, and of course, Microsoft. So once you're on the Microsoft folder here, you're just gonna right click on that, and you're going to go to new. And from the new drop, the new menu here, you're gonna choose key, just regular old key, and we're going to name that Edge. And make sure you have the capital E there. And once you name it, hit enter. Um, now, once you've got that, we're going to right click on it again. And we're going to go to new. But this time we're going to choose D word 32 bit value. So go ahead and click that. Now we need to give this a new name. And that new name, and you have to type this this exact way capital H, lowercase UBS, capital S. And then sidebar, all the rest is lowercase. So we're at hubs, sidebar, and then capital E, N A B L E D. So you need the capital H, capital S, and capital E on that. And type it just like that. Then we'll hit enter. Now, if we double click on this here, uh, we'll see that the value data is set to zero, which is what it should be. So we're going to go ahead and OK that. And we're gonna go ahead and close our registry editor. Actually, I'm just gonna minimize it. Okay, so now you'll see it's not gonna go away right away, which is fine. It will if you restart your computer, but there is another step. So we open up another tab here and we go to edge colon slash slash policy, hit enter. And then right here, we're just gonna reload policies. Now, once we do that, you look over here and you see that that bar is gone. So just to make sure that that did that, let's close it down, open edge back up, and we can even open another tab to force it to go to the one it likes. And as you can see, it is gone. So guys, that is all that there is to that. It's super simple. Again, I put the instructions down in the description along with the path and the registry that you need to go to and everything. So anyway, guys, that is it. If that was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys.